Texas Tech, but in a in front of a crowd as loud as that today. Oh yeah, it's probably the craziest environment we played this year. Uh, it's definitely a good environment. Definitely against a good team, a, good, a top twenty-five team uh, like Texas Tech. I mean, it was a com competitive game, and then we just we just didn't finish. You take any positives away from a game like this? I know you want to win, but do you? Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was a good game to the end, and then and then that happened. So that changed the whole game. We wanted to win, of course. When you play basketball, you want to win the game. You can't play good and lose. That doesn't mean anything. So, thanks, so. Next questions. I'll ask, another, questions, I'll, guys. I'll ask another one. So, Selton, what was it like sure. playing without Marquise today? How much did you have to change up your game plan without him in there? Oh, yeah, we definitely had to. We definitely, uh, it was like we was, it was different because me, Mark, and Mark had to handle the ball more. And definitely, Marquise definitely changed the game for us because he pretty fast. Nobody can guard me on the court. So, I mean, it happens. We had to adjust to that. Go ahead, Grant. Hey, Selton. Uh, you know, what was it like to to hit that three, the first three in Big Twelve play from you? Uh, it was a big shot in the second half. Yeah, hey, I mean, I've been, I'll be honest, I've been struggling all season shooting the threes, but today, um. Like Coach Abba always said, just shoot a ball when you open and don't hesitate. So, I mean, I feel good at that moment because I, even though I'll be struggling, I'll still be working on my on my three. So, I mean, it felt good. It wasn't the right moment. And I just, just felt like I had to uh, hit that shot. And then I hit it. How difficult was it to hit free throws down the stretch, you know, with that raucous crowd and those students in the back um, waving uh, their hands and stuff? But I mean, it was it was a fun environment. It was it was good to like hit free throws against the um, fan base. They talking uh, smack, whatever. But like I say, we near the win. We near this one. We near the win. Do you think? Yeah, no doubt. Do you think that um, some of the some of the the disrespectful chants kind of uh, fired you up at times in this game? Uh, for sure, for sure. I like playing environments like that. Like. Like Texas Tech, probably the best environment we play in the Big 12. I mean, this is, even though we didn't have no Kansas State fans over there, but they even like make us even go harder because we're the only ones we got against them. So we only like 18 people against the whole gym. So they make us even go harder. And then what, what's the focus, you know, to try to, you know, pretty much win the rest of your games? So you can try to get into this NCAA tournament with one last hope. Oh yeah, um, you got Oklahoma Saturday. Uh, I think it's senior night from Mike and and uh, Mark, and then I think we, we gotta get that one. We gotta play our hardest, play. We gotta give the best effort of the year that game, so we can get it done. Thanks, Selby. Both ends of the floor. Yeah. Uh, next question to Arnie. Yeah, so uh, it seemed like, uh, especially late in the first half, Bryson Williams was a really tough matchup for you guys down low. What uh, you, you guys did a little better job the second half, but what was what was the challenge there with uh, when you were going small and trying to to guard someone that just that strong in the post? Uh, um, uh, we trusted at the at the matchups and. The lineup we started off the game because uh, Coach Weber and the staff did a really great job on what um, what we have to do against Williams because he's a good player. He scored around the basket and everything. But I think uh, we learned from the first half, second half, because he was scoring a lot in the first half. So we learned from the first half and then second half. I think we did a much better job on him. We make him miss a lot of a lot of more shots. Thanks. Any other questions? Let it go. Okay. All right. We'll have uh, Mike McGurl on here. 